Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna be checking out this really cool Game Boy Famicom adapter. I found this a few weeks back on Bai when I was looking on there for some Game Boy parts and I was searching around, typing in Game Boy and I came across this really weird adapter. I've never seen it before. I was really interested in it. So I did end up winning it on auction. I was really excited. And today we're gonna open it up and see how it works. Now, when we're looking at the art on the front, it's very interesting. I guess this is supposed to represent a Game Boy Advance SP, but it also looks nothing like a Game Boy Advance SP. There is some Mario or something similar to Mario up here in the artwork. Yeah, all it really says, it doesn't even really say Game Boy on it when I look at it. Maybe it does in Japanese, but everything looks in Japanese except for game tech and 8-bit game adapter down here. Very interesting, and then it says FC. So yeah, we're gonna get into it today and see if this thing works. I hope it works and I have a couple Famicom games that we're gonna try in it today. I have these ones and then I have this one and this one. I didn't have any Famicom games prior so I just picked up a couple online so that we could test this. So I grabbed a couple different cards to make sure that there's at least one there that will work. And today we're gonna be using my Torchic Edition Pokemon Center Game Boy Advance SP to test this thing on. So let's pop it open and see what we're dealing with here. All right, so we have a little, I'm not sure if this is a manual or just some sort of warranty card. And then here it is, or maybe this is the manual in here. Yeah, it looks like yeah, we have a couple different little papers. Looks like it says LRAB, pretty simple. It takes AA batteries. This is it, I guess it just slots in kind of like that. And it's actually really comfortable to just hold to play on. minus and then plus okay hey, let's slot it in let's see if it does anything without a game first oh, that's not good okay well it, it's showing kind of like the bar that reads when you have a dirty game but let's try popping this in here how does it go? Like that? Nothing. Okay, well let's try cleaning this game really quick. I know this Game Boy works because I just tested this Game Boy with other games. There's a little bit of alcohol on the pins here. Still nothing. We are getting a blue light right here. Will this one fit in here? Oh, it will. Nice. Oh, that looks so cool. That looks dope. Oh, nothing. Let's see, maybe we scrub the contacts a little bit. Clean those contacts with a little bit of alcohol. This shouldn't hurt it at all. This is the same way I clean the Game Boy cartridges. All right, let's try Rockman. Nothing. Huh. Let me look at the uh, instructions really quick. So, let's try to decipher. Okay, so... It says you can put it on any Game Boy, Game Boy Advance. Yeah, uh, well it says, okay, hold on. Maybe number one, it says to put the Game Boy Advance game in and then put the cartridge in and then insert it and then turn the Game Boy on. Okay, so sometimes with this peripheral stuff, you have to actually put a Game Boy Advance game in. I have seen that before. Let's pop that in and see if this maybe is lucky. Uh, let me try this game again. Oh. Oh, we got the Nintendo logo, okay. That's a good sign. It loaded, let me zoom in. It works, oh, we're playing. Let's see the audio. Oh, and it plays through the speaker too. Oh, that is wild, this thing works, okay. Oh my gosh, it looks so crazy though. Oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. This is so cool. Oh no. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's like this really crazy fuzz that's going on. Like there's a bad connection. Oh, you can't even see it on camera. It's like really fuzzy. It looks like almost like 
when you back in the day when you would have your Nintendo plugged into the TV and it would um, have a bad connection and it would show a little bit of static reset button works. See that when it flicks like that, that's kind of how it looks all the time. This is really sweet. Let's try a different game. The Dragon Ball three game. Oh, I thought that was I've never played this game. I thought it was broken. OK, so. This goes really loud also. Yeah, at first I thought it was comfortable to hold, but once the game's in there, it's like extremely uncomfortable because my hands are like, like that. You know what I wanna see is if it'll work in the Game Boy Micro. All right, here's my Game Boy Micro right here. Let's see if this will work in this. It doesn't look like it because, oh no, there it goes. Oh, it is working. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> that is so interesting looking. All right, let's try this out now again. It keeps freezing here. Let's try this other game. All right, we're on back on Super Mario Bros. This is the most probably cumbersome way I could ever play this game. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> I mean, it works really well, actually. It actually looks really good on this uh, screen. I guess just because the screen's smaller. Well, this thing is really neat. I think I spent 60, between 40 and 60, because I, I shipped everything together. So the shipping gets kind of confusing once you when you do the big orders like that. But overall, this thing is amazing. I, I've never seen this before. I didn't even know this existed. I wish I could find the name on it. Game Tech, it says 2004. FC Game Tech SP. Those are the only words I can read. 8 bit game adapter. Super neat. Definitely super neat. I wish I could find one that would play the Super Famicom games. That would be a real score because there's a lot more of those games that I like than uh, the original Famicom ones. But there's definitely some classics on here. Definitely some good platformers that I can play without having to know Japanese. Uh, I want to see if an NES game would fit in this thing. I think it should. I'm pretty sure that you can use the Famicom games with the NES, but you have to like use cartridge adapters. I'm not 100% up to date on the whole NES scene and every anything like that, but I'll look into it. And the only other thing I wanted to check is if it will fit inside the Game Boy Player. Because if it'll get if it'll fit inside the Game Boy Player, let me move some of the stuff out of the way. Then you could play Famicom games on the GameCube in the most cumbersome way possible. So let's. Oh yeah, I don't. Well, actually. Oh no, it won't fit. All right, the last test we have to do is on the analog pocket. So I have my pocket right here. Let's see if we can get this thing to slot into here. There's no way. It's gonna. There's just no way. Wow, another enormous L for the analog pocket. Look at this. How do they expect to sell this device if you can't even fit this thing on it? Unbelievable. This thing is just a total waste of money. So this one's a little bit different because it goes in upside down like that. This one's actually like playable, holdable but I wonder how it's gonna work. Let's get Rockman in here. Ah, oh, no, I'm taking damage. This is hard. Ah. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh man, I suck. Taking damage. All I do is take damage. I'm gonna die. There he is again. That game is just way too hard, especially playing on this. It's like impossible. The controls and the screen, it's like, it's nuts. So I'm definitely gonna try to get some normal NES games and see if we can get them to work on this thing. I was surprised that this thing worked at all, honestly. I mean, the thing did break the tab, so it's kind of taped together now. But uh, 
it is what it is it's really old i mean it says 2004 and i guess i'm just glad it didn't have battery corrosion because when i bought it it was as is and i'll show you guys the listing it was uh just you know very vague uh i looked at the picture i was like okay that's interesting i'm surprised i haven't seen that before i thought i'd seen it all and then here we go so but thank you guys for watching this video let me know what you think about this thing or if you guys have any information on it i'm gonna do a little searching online like i said i wanted to just get into this thing without any prior knowledge because i think it's more fun that way but um We'll see what we'll find online and see if we can find the name of this thing or maybe a, a super Famicom version. That would be a really cool thing to find. But anyways, until next time, thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.